throughout art history, you always had this huge erotic element and erotic art was always something that helped an artist to survive. You could always sell it. When I was in college here, all of my professors, all of my painting professors were abstract painters, all of them. But then I went for a year abroad in Germany. And there, there was also this provocative element sometimes in the work there. The professors, they'd make comments like, oh, you should paint a hard one on that guy, it'd be much more interesting. And I'd be like shocked. Or I'd have like a painting of a nude figure and he'd be like, oh, we're talking about how much we liked your breasts. Coming from Puritan America, suddenly I have a professor just saying all these dirty things to me. I love, you know, kind of metacritical art. Um, and I love anything having to do with pussies, so I was totally jazzed for it. The very first piece that I saw from the exhibit was um, Lisa's Thunder, and I love that piece, and I, I love the title of it, so that one's kind of stuck in my head. All the paintings that I, that I reproduced, are they all exist. I mean, I, they're all copies. This is sort of a collage project, so it's always somebody looking at a work of art. Sometimes it's a work of art looking at a work of art. There's just this curiosity within all of us. It's just so normal that we want to look at things, right? We have this, this, this huge, strong desire to, to, to see things, be it a car accident, be it uh, somebody who you see dressed, undressed. Looking at art is all about voyeurism, right? And that's sort of seemed to be what this was really about. You were looking at paintings of people looking at paintings. You were the spectator, then there was a spectator in the painting, and then there was a painting in the painting. So it felt like it sort of highlighted that sense of looking. America is in some ways a very Puritan country. There, there's a lot of dress codes and a lot of issues with what you can show and what you have to hide. It's an old recipe that, that somehow c continues to have a certain fascination throughout centuries. And today, with everything you have available on the internet, it shouldn't have this effect to shock you anymore, but it still does. This work is based on a painting that says Masterworks on the top and then has all these books with all these great male painters shown on the front. And so I thought it was kind of funny and I always liked the relationship between the word uh, master pussies and masterpieces. It's even funnier in German. Meister Muschiwerke. <laughs> it's an image that's so used in art that perhaps maybe it's lost its um, impact maybe a little bit in terms of like it can be placed in on a bear and you know you're like oh hmm, vaginas how hilarious it's just such a common symbolism that maybe it's kind of lost what it, what it is and what it's meant to be it's just been such a painted subject throughout art history starting with the origin of the world and it's been such a strong influence this work of art that's you know already centuries old throughout art history you have this this theme recurring you start looking at at any artist you'll find one. This idea of the art lover, it's the person who likes to consume art, who goes into the museum, who goes into the galleries. What are they looking for when they go to look at art? Are they looking to be shocked? Are they looking to be provoked? Are they looking to just see something pretty? They're looking to see something different or a different perspective on the world. Uh, or maybe they're just really looking for the nudies.